Anger stands for having anger towards everyone reaching success. I want to thank Dr. Tiffany Moon for creating this talk, for that speech and sharing it on TikTok because it really helped me conceptualize my attitude towards haters. Um, I think what she says is so true. We do have a negative bias. And I know in my mind that I get mostly positive comments, but still it's always the negative ones that affect me the most. And I'm every time I look back at the times I responded to haters, I'm just like, I should have just ignored them because it always, there's no point in, 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 in arguing with people who just simply disagree with you and people who are just simply mean to you for no reason. You know, I, I don't always share like, um, political things, but that one time I was saying, I made a video about how Texans are ill-prepared for this freeze. I got a bunch of like angry Texans and it made me realize like the only people who are angry at that video are people who are dumb enough to drive when Texas is in freezing weather because our tires are just not made for freezing weather. Anyways, um, I just want to use an example. One of the most hurtful comments I got was this woman making fun of the way I talked in that video. She's like, you're here mocking the way that Texans drive, which I wasn't mocking them, but she's like, but you, there's no one mocking your speech impediment. And I immediately deleted that comment because it was like so rude. I'm like, I'm not going to even bother, but it still affected me. And and the reason why her comment was hurtful towards me is because I've always been very self-conscious about the way I talk. Ever since I was like in first, second grade, I've always gotten kids asking me, like, why do you talk like that? And so it's sort of gotten to me. But then I didn't even like stop to think about all the positive comments I get about the way I talk. Like I, I often receive compliments like I sound like the Incredibles mom, which I think is amazing. And people saying that I have a very cute voice. I, I even gotten comments like I should do voice acting and like my voice is really cute and all that kind of stuff so haters are going to make fun of everything about you from the way that you look from the way that you talk from just your race you know I had I had to deal with a bunch of racist last week as well and even a racist making fun of <laughs> making fun of me being Asian and then when I told him to go back to his home country and I said hey if you don't like the fact that I'm Asian living in America then maybe you should leave America because Asians are here to stay and then he was calling me racist when I didn't say anything about bad about his race I was just saying hey America is a diverse country if you cannot stand other races living amongst you go back to where you came from which i think is a valid point and nothing racist about it so people would just say anything about anything to you if they just do not like you and you just got to learn to ignore the haters i'm still learning to ignore them sometimes i'll clap back <laughs> but from from now on i will just delete block and delete i will make that promise to myself thank you for coming to my ted talk i wish that you could edit stitches because i know there's just so much filtered rambling unfiltered rambling here but you cannot edit stitches so people who make it to the end of my rambles thank you